Hello, today I'm going to show you how to get started with digital planning and how to plan on your iPad or Android tablet. My channel is all about digital planning and I'll be answering all my frequently asked questions like what are the best devices, apps and accessories to use and what's new in the digital planning world. I'll also show you how to download my free digital planner and stickers and give a quick tutorial on how to use them in my favorite app. A digital planner is a PDF file with hyperlinked buttons and tabs that allow you to quickly jump between pages. You can write on it using a stylus pen like the Apple Pencil or the Samsung S Pen inside of a PDF annotation app. Later in the video, I'll talk about how to choose a planner and what things to look out for. I switched to digital planning mainly because of the extra flexibility and convenience. You can undo any mistakes and when your plans change, it's super easy to move things around. You can decorate the page with stickers, which you can duplicate as many times as you want and easily add in photos and images without having to print anything out. You have all of the pen colors and I just find it easier to customize my planner exactly the way I want. With the hyperlinks, you can easily find the page you're looking for and you can also duplicate any page so you never run out. I do plan with me videos on my channel as well as tips and tutorials, so make sure to subscribe if you're interested. You will need an iPad or tablet along with a stylus pen for writing. I have the iPad Pro, but you can use any iPad that's compatible with the Apple Pencil. The base iPad is good if you're on a budget or you can go a step up to the iPad Air. On Android, I use the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus with the S Pen and a frequently asked question I get is do I prefer the iPad or the Samsung tablet? So in my personal experience, the iPad has better drawing apps like Procreate, whilst the Samsung tablet has better battery life in the S Pen and easier multitasking with the desktop mode. I'll go into more detail on this topic in a separate video and I'd love to hear your thoughts on which one you prefer, so let me know in the comments. As for screen size, a larger screen gives you more room for handwriting, but if you're going to be carrying it around, then you might prefer a smaller model for portability. I don't recommend using your phone as your main digital planning device because of the small screen size and lack of a stylus pen, but some apps will allow you to sync across devices, like between the iPad and iPhone, or between an Android tablet and Android phone, and this is really convenient for checking your planner on the go. On the iPad, my current favorite app for digital planning and note-taking is Noteful. It's pretty user-friendly and has a lot of great features. GoodNotes app is a very popular choice, but if you're looking for an alternative, I think Noteful is very good and can be used for free with some limitations. I'll include a short Noteful tutorial later in the video. On Android, my favorite app is Penly, and this is what I use on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. It comes with digital planners that you can reuse every year, but you can also import any PDF planner into the app. My favorite Penly features include handwriting to text, being able to create your own page hyperlinks, and the stickers panel where you can bulk add your own images. For beginners, I recommend using a dated planner, but if you want to reuse it every year, you can write in the dates yourself with an undated planner. Depending on if you need daily or weekly pages or both, make sure the layouts work for you, and you also want to check if there's hyperlinks between all the daily, weekly, and monthly pages, because that will allow you to navigate around very easily. For Apple users, it's possible to have shortcut links in your planner to other apps like Apple Calendar and Reminders, as well as to places like your photos and files for easily accessing these images. So check if you would like to make use of this feature. You can find planners in landscape or portrait orientation depending on how you like to use your device. And there's also black paper planners that you might find more comfortable on the eyes. Creating digital planners is what I love to do, and in our shop we have planner bundles that are customizable. So how it works is you choose the options you want, like planner and paper color, tab customization, and there's a variety of daily and weekly layouts, and you can do any combination of these options. You can make as many planners as you want, and each bundle comes with a ton of stickers and templates for things like productivity, wellness, fitness, and finances. I made an entire video walking through our planners in more detail, so check that out if you're interested. I recommend a matte screen protector for a less slippery writing surface. I've tried a bunch of different brands and it kind of comes down to personal preference. For the stylus pen, I like these silicone sleeves for better grip when I'm handwriting, or you can go for something more chunky like these clicky Apple Pencil cases. You can also switch out the tips on the Apple Pencil and my personal favorite are these fine steel tips. For a more budget-friendly option to the Apple Pencil, you can find these alternative iPad styluses, and some of them even have extra buttons that you can customize. 
If you want to type in your planner, like for journaling or notes, I suggest getting a standalone Bluetooth keyboard or a case that comes with the keyboard attached. I also like to use a stand and a lot of magnetic stands don't work if you have the case on. So I just use a simple stand like this one. If you're interested in any of my accessories, I try to link most of them in the video description. If you want to give digital planning a try, I have a free digital planner that is perfect for beginners. It has dated monthly and weekly pages and is a simplified version of our full planners. So I'll share the link for this page in the video description. And on this page, you can come down a bit to the buttons and you can choose if you want a Monday start planner or a Sunday start planner, and then just tap on the button. And then on the iPad, you can tap on the share icon at the top and then choose your app from the list. So scroll all the way. And if you don't see your app, tap on more, and then you can see the entire list of apps and then choose your app. So I'm going to use Noteful app and then tap on create new notebook. And you can also rename your file and then tap on save. And here is the planner inside Noteful app. Over on the Samsung tablet, you can tap on the planner you want and then pull up this pop-up and then choose your app from the list. So I'm going to use Penly app and then tap on just once. You can also find a lot of free stickers in our freebies vault and I'll link to that in the video description. Here is a quick Noteful tutorial to help you get started and most digital planning apps have similar features. So in Noteful, you can tap on the file to open it and then you can swipe to turn the pages. To use the hyperlinks, tap on the hand icon and then long press on a hyperlink to go to that page. To write on the planner, you can zoom in and then here you have the pen tool and if you tap it again, you will see more options and down here, you can tap on it and choose a different color. Here you have the eraser and if you tap it again, you have more options and you can erase it or you can also undo and redo using these arrows here. Here's the highlighter and you can draw and hold to snap straight. To add an image, you can tap on this picture icon and then here are all the images in your photo album and you can scroll down and choose the one you want and then tap on add and then you can resize it using these handles and you can also rotate and move it around. The lasso tool lets you select objects and you can choose which types of objects you want to select and you can just tap on the image and you will see these options come up. So you can delete it, you can crop it. And if you want to move something, you can also draw around it and move it like this. Here you have the text tool and you can just tap it and this will add a text box to the page and you can write in this. And if you tap on the four squares icon at the top here, you can then copy and paste any page you want. And you can also long press a page and move it elsewhere in your planner. I'll make a more detailed note for tutorial soon. So look out for that if you want to learn more. Digital planning isn't for everyone. And some of the downsides include having to invest in an iPad or tablet if you don't already have one. There's a bit of a learning curve to get familiar with whichever app you're using and writing on the screen can feel very different to writing on paper and you might find it challenging to write as neatly. I made a separate video where I set up my 2024 digital planner along with a vision board and you can watch it by clicking on the video thumbnail that's on the screen now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Drop me any questions in the comments and thanks for watching.